Listen, man. I'm I'm a white Indian. I I am an Indian. I'm a Vrijabasi. You know, you know when I die, I have all. The, first of all, I want to die in Vrindavan. That is my hope. I can die there, uh, and put my ashes in the Yamuna River. Um, but if not so, then I have made arrangements and put money in the bank that my body shall be taken to India and burned right there by the uh, by the Yamuna River. I want to finish my life up in Vrindavan. My heart. It's in Vrindavan. My my heart is in Mother India. Mm. It's my misfortune, my misfortune, that I was born in the United States of America, which is a grossly materialistic, uh, warring nation, uh, uh, and and not in the beautiful Mother India. So I, my adopted homeland is India. So it's this India. मेरे साथ मैं हिंदी में शुरू करता हूँ कि मेरे साथ एक ऑथर है एक रेडियो पर्सनालिटी है अ वेरी वेल नोन एक्टर है और मैं बहुत ही प्यार से उन्हें बुलाना चाहूंगा हाथ जोड़कर नमस्ते करना चाहूंगा वेलकम जगन्नाथ दासा हरे कृष्ण राधे श्याम सो सिंस स्पोकन अबाउट योर हिंदू नेम uh let the people know what is your name and then how the hindu name came into picture well uh my material body uh has the name jeffrey juliano uh yes. that is the body which was created by my father and mother but my real birth was uh, took place around 1972 and i became a uh, a devotee uh, a initiate of ac bhaktivedanta swami prabhupada and joined iska so from that those many long years I've I've been I'm a practicing member of ISKCON and very happy to be a devotee. So that's why I have the the other name Jagannath Das. I spend a lot of time in India. I live in Rajasthan, Rishikesh, but mostly in Vrindavan. Wow. So uh, like do you still come to India? Yeah. Yeah, man. Sure. Of course I do. I come all the time. In fact, I was just there for 6 months. Uh came back last January. I was staying in Jaipur, staying in Jaipur and Vrindavan. Wow. And uh, uh, when I talk about India, what is the thing that you miss the most whenever you are away from India? The the Tirthas, the holy Tirthas that I can okay. visit and purify myself through my through association with those glorious holy places like Vrindavan, like Mathura, like Rishikesh, like Kurukshetra. So many Tirthas uh, that we as devotees love to go there because it enlivens us wow and and what about food because those places are also famous for food which you talked about yeah i eat too much i i like pera <laughs> i like pera you know pera yeah mathura yeah mathura ka pera yes 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 <laughs> like i like i like halwa kheer oh. and pera <laughs> nice so so next time you are here we'll make sure that uh, we'll come Absolutely. and eat halwa and pera Yeah man <laughs> So uh, uh with without further ado uh VIP 4 from Squid Game like everybody is here to just know about that the right. entire crazy experience of VIP 4 that was a wild character wasn't it Yeah it it was it was incredible look I've made tw- I've been an actor for many years uh and a writer I I've made 28 movies some of them big movies but they never really moved the needle they didn't really uh get the the public didn't get behind them I I was and am a well-known character actor in Hollywood the producers know me the movie studios know me but the public doesn't really know me until Squid Game So when I took the part in when I took the part in Squid Game I just came off two popular movies one was a mo- a movie called Kate with Woody Harrelson on Netflix I'm in there and then the other movie which I'm very proud of my performance is called Peninsula Train to Busan also on Netflix so the director apparently was searching all over the world because I have the biggest part of any westerner in that uh Squid Game so they were looking for somebody that was I think evil enough, you know, because I always play the bad guy. Always, you know. Um so uh they were they couldn't he couldn't find anyone. He couldn't find anyone in Korea, in Thailand, anywhere in Southeast Asia. Then they went through Hollywood. They couldn't find anyone there. And then 
he, the director happened to catch me in uh, Peninsula Train to Busan and uh, instructed his staff to get in touch with me. And then there was a long series of negotiations about money and these kind of things. Uh, they broke down a few times. And, and I, you know, I've been in this business so, so long that if I don't get a part, I just go, okay, take care. Maybe next time. Yeah, I don't yeah. get, I don't get, I don't get excited. You know, I don't care. If I get it, I get it. Also, I'm a devotee and we don't care about all these material affairs. You know, they're just transitory. So I, I just said, okay, no problem. Bye. And then they call me back and they're kind of again and again in negotiation. And we got closer and closer to the money that I wanted. And uh, then finally we were able to come to an agreement and I, I, I took the part. So they, they tried to find somebody bad enough, but nobody was as bad as you. And so Nobody's as bad as me, my brother. I'm the <laughs> baddest mofo happening. <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted to say, but I was like, no, no, it's a family <laughs> channel. I cannot say that. <laughs> so uh, like how Jeffrey is in real life, like how different, uh, like you are always a bad guy in a movie, but how much, like, why is this thing? Why is this negative character so stuck with you? Like, do you feel, is that any part look of it? Your... Look at me, look at me, <laughs> look at me. Oh my do I, God. Do I, that's, I, have, I have to wear the glasses so that, that my eyes freak everybody out. <laughs> no, listen, man, I, I, I'll tell you, I'll explain it to you. I am 100% Sicilian from New York. Ooh. So all of my uncles were tough guys. A couple of yes. them were in the mafia. So wow. I just have that look. You know, and I was raised around that, all that. Uh, I tell people it was like good fellas, but without the mafia. So I had 12 uncles, Johnny, Jimmy, Vinny, Tony, Frankie. Oh, Jimmy, all the Scorsese you know. movies, all the Scorsese yeah, movies right there. Yes, right yes, there in the that's right, that's correct. <laughs> I was raised right, so, uh, you know, I myself, I'm a devotee of Krishna, Iskand devotee, uh, but, so, but this, this bad guy stuff, you know, hopefully I'm not a bad guy. I, I feed the widows in uh, Radakun every year. I take up my, some of my money and I feed the widows in Radakun. I try to do a good seva, a go seva and other kinds of seva. So I think I'm a good guy, but I look like a bad guy. So I use my looks to, uh, to they have given me a nice career, you know? Actually, actually, when I was young, I was very handsome, but that's all finished now. You still are. You still <laughs> no, are. No, 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 you, know? you are a badass mofo. We had to talk about it. You are a badass mofo. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm so happy to talk to you uh, right now. And uh, apart Likewise. from that, when you, when you talk about your eyes in VIP4, there wasn't scope for your uh, your eyes. No, there was. Right? Yeah, there was. I, they t I mean, the, mask, did, yeah. the mask came off there at the end. In the but, end, but uh, like, you yeah. know, during the beginning, it was all your character speaking, uh, the, you know, the kind of... Uh, Okay, with, a mask. You had that, with the mask, uh, with the mask, with the you you know, you know, they they, they made a mistake. The costume department made a mistake when they made those masks, and we none of us could see. The eye holes were too little. So if you notice, when the policeman, I I make a, a sexual advances to the policeman, and then he takes me out. If you watch carefully, he's leading me out because the oh. camera. <laughs> You, you can't see it, but the camera was right there, like inches away, this camera worth a couple of million dollars. And I couldn't hit that camera. So he had to grab me. If you look, you can see it. He's leading me off by holding my arm because I couldn't see anything. Plus there was a step. There was a step there. We were on a riser and I, I would have fallen right down and fallen into the camera. So they had to do it quite slowly and they didn't cut it quite uh, short enough. So you can kind of see him kind of leading me off. So you couldn't, you could, so you could not see. Now there was a scene in the beginning where we were supposed to come down the stairs, and he said, "Okay, so you guys, when I say action, you come down the stairs." I said, "No, I can't, I can't do that." What do you mean? No, I'm not. I can't do that. Well, it's dangerous. I can't see. How am I going to come down a very large, twenty-foot flight of stairs and I cannot see anything? I will fall for sure. 
So they, you know, I have a, I have a thing that I refuse to do anything that's dangerous on a movie set. This is one of the few rules that I have. I just, if I think, if I think it's dangerous, I won't do it. So they, they had to have a, a conversation and finally they just filmed me at the bottom of the stairs as if I was already there and they cheated with the shot. So it looked like I was, Ooh. the other guys were walking down the stairs. Then it cut to a close up of me as if I was walking down the stairs, but I wasn't, I was at the bottom. So, you know, these are the, these are the tricks of, of movie making. You know, I can't really watch movies because I know how they're made. Exactly, and all, exactly. all the magic, all the magic of movies is very difficult for me to... Uh, what, digest. What, yeah, digest. well, no, it's, it's what they... You know too they, much. You know too much. You know too much. It's what they call the willing <laughs> suspension of disbelief. So I know, okay, yes. that's an over-the-shot yes. shoulder. That's a master shot. You don't see the star's face, so it's not him. It's 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 a stand-in. I know yes. everything about it, so it just I know how all the pieces are, of the puzzle are put together. So it kind of ruins it for me for watching movies. In yes. fact, I have not watched Squid Game. I've watched my oh. part in Squid. Yeah. Why why do I need to watch that? I've, I I mean I watched my part, but I mean you know actors have to be a little bit crazy. So I just mm. care about my I care about my own part. And I'm not very interested in seeing, these are all sort of silly movies, really. They're just kind of for kids or something like that. So yeah. it's just, it's not any, no big interest to me. My interest is to make more movies. <laughs> okay. So what yeah. kind of movies interest you? What kind of movies interest you? Well, I, I like a good part. That was an unusual part because I am a very naturalistic actor. I, I do very small motions and to be, if you watch me in, uh, Peninsula train to Busan, you'll mm. see that I do very small little movements and stuff. Yes, but this yes. one very I had subtle to do. Ones, very subtle ones. But it, yeah, this, to be it, yeah. this one was like a cartoon. It's like, hey, if I can't do 69, I'll do 96. So it was this kind of over the top cart, actually over a little bit top. like a little bit like Indian movies, you know? I was about to say that. I was about yeah. to say that. Little bit yeah. like Indian movies, yeah. Yeah. Sure. So so um yeah, I mean, you know, listen, I'm I, I there's an old saying, how do you make an actor complain? Give him a job. So I don't ever complain. There's a lot of people that want to be movie stars and they can't. I'm lucky that I've had, I've worked hard and created luck for myself, created the luck for myself. Nobody gave me anything because I had to fight very hard to get anywhere. And now I'm see, I'm 68 and I just arrived as a, as a well-known movie actor. It took me all these years of 68 years. years old. All these years. Yeah. So I, I don't think... Years, I feel it is 60, uh, 68 years young, not 68 years old. It well, whatever it is, <laughs> by the grace of God, I'm here tomorrow. I may not be, you may not be, who knows. But the point is, is that uh, I've worked hard to get here and uh, I very much appreciate the opportunities that Netflix has given me. You know, right now I'm in the the biggest TV series of Netflix history, uh, Squid Game, the biggest series, uh, biggest movie of Squid Game history, Kate, huh? and the best zombie movie, Peninsula Train to Busan. So I have three hits in a row. But there is something funny I want to tell, talk to you about. I have gotten I have gotten offers to do Comic Con conventions. I've gotten unlimited offers for publicity, but nobody has offered me a movie yet. And I don't understand that because there are, I've seen the contract with Netflix and I'll tell you a secret. There's 14 stars of Squid Game. I am number 14. I am a star of Squid Game. Now, I'm also the only star that speaks English. English. So tell me why the casting directors of the world have not said, listen, we got to get somebody from Squid Game. It's so popular. What do we, well, we can't get these other guys. They don't speak English. Well, what are we going to, hey, get that guy. He speaks English. I haven't, I haven't had any offers yet, and I don't quite understand that. So, since I want to come to India to make movies, unfortunately, I don't speak Hindi. Any of the casting directors out there, you need to call me, and I'm going to come over, and yeah. you can just pay me in Kier. Para and Halaba, and we're good. <laughs> I'll do the movie. <laughs> That's a deal. That's a deal, right? Right here on the show, we are making a deal that Jeffrey will come to Bollywood if you pay him in Halwa and Peda, and he's and, all yours. And Kier. So no dollars Keir. involved. And I won't Keir. do it. I won't do it without the Kier. Forget about it. <laughs>
<laughs> so any particular place which you have in your head that only this place is khir and this place is halwa or any khir or any halwa will do to you well i mean the parash parash should come from vrindavan because ah, yeah. because uh, krishna is mocking chore he likes to steal that <laughs> steal that that those sweets and uh no no i you know i love india I, I, india is my, india is my home india is my home i feel more alive more myself in india um than i do anywhere in the world in fact i just took my 13 year old son there so that he could understand something about india as well and you know when i go to india i tell you who do i hang around with in vrindavan i hang around with the beggars beggars Okay. the beggars but who wait outside the temple to get some some change you know i feel more happy with the the people the poor people than the, i've been with many many high high people there's that place uh where's that hotel that's uh in the island it's very it's in the you dubai, know you dubai dubai in dubai no 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 in india there's a place where there's an island and there's a big uh uh, uh hotel in there in the middle okay. of the water you have to take a boat to get there anyway i've known all these people these maharajas and everything but i prefer for myself to be with the poor people you know to be with the beggars because we are all beggars at the gates of the temple don't have any big idea you know i'm a movie star and i'm thinking like this i'm not thinking oh i'm so great i'm this i'm better than other people no not like that at all i'm just thinking i'm some soul that's in this body and i have to be grateful for everything that i get and every day and every person that i meet that's it so okay let's talk about squid game let's talk what else what do you want to know i can okay, tell you so everything <laughs> what about uh, do you think there is a season 2 coming season 2 of course you have to ask me about that i believe that i will be in season 2 i don't know but i believe that i will and here's why the director okay. recent the director recently said that he was going not going to do a prequel he was going to pick it up from where it left off with the with the characters that are still alive now yes. when i get knocked unconscious the the guy come the guard comes in and said vip4 is down <laughs> is he dead no he's just unconscious why did they say that why did exactly. they make that scene that scene was shot for no reason That that scene was shot just to tell the audience that I was not dead. You are I mean, still alive. Still yeah, alive. it's a it's a stupid scene to make if you're not going to continue. You know, they went to a big I mean, that scene took about 6 hours to shoot with me laying on the floor. So, why did they make that scene? And believe me, with movies and money and 300 people standing around, they don't shoot scenes for fun. There's yeah. some reason some reason that they're shooting so that's the first thing is they they wanted to establish with the audience that I'm still alive that's number 1 and then the other thing is when the policeman was look pretending to be a waiter and, and looking at me in the uh in that big room where we were watching the TV screens and watching the games he he dropped the camera down into his hand from in his sleeve and took video of me that's never explained Why did he take that video of me? Why did they do a close up on that camera? What's going on about that? I mean, there's got to be a, again, there's a reason and for everything they do and I'll tell you another thing. They used a storyboard for this movie as they do in many movies, but they followed the storyboard. Normally speaking, they just use it as a guide, as an indication, but here, okay, so storyboard says move your hand. No, no. move it up a little bit to the right a little bit and down a little bit i mean they were very precise so if they have such a pre- precise storyboard why are they going to take the time and the money to film him uh dropping that camera down and and videoing me with the with the cell phone camera for no reason in other words it was unexplained so i have reason to believe and all other things i cannot divulge at this time that i will be in uh i will be in the next season So there is going to be a next season and we yeah. might as well see you as well. I think I think you will. Yeah. But yeah. you know but they better get their wallet out because I ain't cheap. <laughs> you ain't cheap because it needs kheer, halwa and peda for you so you ain't expensive. cheap. It's, it becomes very expensive. Because you know sometime I like I like sabji and uh and uh, puris and uh yeah like that so sometimes i go a little crazy samosa you know and uh, uh what else pakora pakora so you know that gets expensive <laughs> <laughs> so
So when are uh, when are we going to see you next? When are we going to see Jeffrey next? Uh, I know you well, can't talk about it much, but still. Okay, see, I'm making a movie right now in Bangkok with some very famous people. One of the things they do with these big movies, because there's so much competition, is we have to sign a confidentiality agreement called an NDA, non-disclosure. So I can't tell you. I can tell you I'm playing a bad guy, but I mean that's okay. not really. Of course. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, um, I'm enjoying it, and. Uh, so so there you go so um yeah the, 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 the answer is i can't tell you but i'm making a new movie yeah wow. but 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 i could be making a lot more so if there's any producers out there that need a guy like me i'm the guy you need if you need a guy like me i'm the guy you need okay okay let's do one thing let's do one thing uh, let's let's put out a message in hindi okay <clears throat> one line to the casting directors out there okay you say it in english i'll teach you and then we'll speak it in hindi okay attention one. Hmm. casting directors in india hmm. say it attention we can do it attention in english also okay. attention casting directors bharat, of india bharat ke casting directors sun lo i'm bharat, not fooling i'm not fooling around with you say it mai time mai time pass nahi kar raha bilkul bhi I'm the best bad guy you'll ever get in any movie. मैं सबसे बढ़िया वाला गुंडा हूँ जो कहीं भी मिलेगा आपको किसी भी पिक्चर में. All around the world they bring me in to play the bad guy. पूरी दुनिया मेरे पीछे पड़ी है ग्यारह मुल्कों की पुलिस मुझे ढूंढ रही है. So you now have an opportunity to employ me in your movies. तो आपके पास ये एक मौका है मुझे employ करने का. Don't be foolish and miss this opportunity. बिल्कुल भी गलती मत करना इस अपॉर्चुनिटी को जाने देने का यस आई एम एक्सपेंसिव हाँ थोड़ा सा महंगा हूं मैं बट आई एम द बेस्ट बट सबसे बेस्ट हूं मैं दैट वर्क एज एन ऑडिशन टेप फॉर मी एज वेल यू प्रॉब्लम गेट द पार्ट एंड आई वॉन्ट <laughs> no, no. They they'll keep you and uh, you keep me as your assistant to count oh, the money. Okay. Yeah, so sure. <laughs> you can go get you can go get the halwa. Y- yes, Ajay. Definitely. I uh, there are also some questions that I have got. Uh, people want go. to know that who is your favorite Bollywood actor and why? Okay, I like. I don't know his name, but you know his name. He's the older guy who wears the glasses with the white hair and he's real handsome and he used to be young and and he's and his son is a movie actor. Who is it? Mr. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. The real tall and handsome and he has white hair and the white beard now, the short beard. And he does Mr. Amitabh com- Bachchan. He does a commercial Mr. for everything. Everything. Paint, <laughs> candy, milk, toilet, doesn't matter. And he does every commercial on TV. And he has some. I think a son who's a movie star. I saw him when I was in university in the Siddhartha movie, and that's Ooh. how I know him. Then there's the girl. Who's the girl that's so beautiful that also went to Hollywood and made a movie? Who's that? Priyan- Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka Chopra. Those two. Actually, I do know one uh, uh, Bollywood movie star, Hema Balini. uh because uh she's an iskon uh member such as myself and we meet sometimes in vrindavan and talk about movies and things like that wow wow okay so another question i have is who is your favorite director bollywood director and why i don't know any directors in bollywood man i'm from new york get out of here you can't ask me all these idiots <laughs> <laughs> okay okay let's let's do hollywood director and why okay. uh Mar- martin scorsese because he realistically portrays the italian american uh uh history of a uh, of of my country and of course it's the same history i'm sicilian that i was also raised in and uh it's i can tell you it's 100% authentic wow. um he's a he's a great director um i like ridley scott you know i like most of the most of the really uh, great directors i i i love of course francis ford coppola is possibly my favorite because i love all the godfather movies 1 2 and and also 3 and uh, especially number 2 and th- those were really the movies that ma- i made the final decision when i was 17 or something yes 
I will also be an actor, you know? And listen, wow. if you're from a, I'm from a very poor family, you know, to come from that poor family where, where anything like being a movie star is just a ridiculous dream. It's just impossible to make that happen. You know, in the movies in India, I know very well, and also Hollywood nepotism, or people related in the family is so much of, of how the people become a star. But my father was a plumber. He used to fix toilets and you know, this kind of thing. So I'm from a, that kind of family, working class family. There was no chance, no chance that I would ever become any kind of movie star. And that, but, but I was blessed with an ability to work hard and never give up, you know? And the ta talent was a bonus. But I know I got from my father, the Sicilian people, that hard work ethic to keep on plugging away no matter what. Listen, I have been humiliated. I have had people block me because they're jealous. I've had people say, say lies about me. I've had them say all kinds of terrible, terrible things I can't even repeat here about me just because they were jealous that I was getting the parts. One time I was coming out of a, an audition where I got the part and the other actor was coming out with me and he, he tried to hit me, but I ducked. And I said, why would you do that? He said, you are taking the food out of my daughter's mouth because you got that part. I said, listen, man, the director, if you have a problem with me getting cast, you go talk to the director. It has nothing to do with me. If anybody's, you know, it, and, and, and if you would have done a better job, you would have gotten the part. So I've had all kinds of crazy things happen around me, threats, uh, people saying things about my son, you know, all kinds of stuff. It's a dirty, dirty business. And in order to come up to the top, you've got to be super strong. Because when, when I was young, I thought, well, okay, I'm a good actor. Everyone will appreciate my talent. It's just the opposite. People feel threatened by people that are good and they're not as good. So they want to block you. They want to stop your progress because you are taking the food out of their mouth by getting that part. So it's it's a very tough business. That's why any young people that ask me about becoming an actor, I say initially, please try to find something else you like. It's too hard a life. And uh, now I'm making very good money, but there were years and years that I didn't hardly make any money at all. Sometimes two, three thousand dollars a year. You know, and this I had to, this impacted the lives of my children and my marriage. And so it's, you pay a big, big price to get here. And that's one of the reasons now that I'm here, that I demand big money as back pay for all those years when I had nothing. And you totally deserve it. You totally deserve it. I deserve more. <laughs> Definitely you do. Okay, so next question would be, have you seen any Bollywood movies? Of course I have. And, and I don't understand them. I don't understand, <laughs> I don't understand them in as much as there's a very dramatic scene. Maybe somebody's broken out of jail and the, his friend gets shot by the police as they're running away. And, and, and the, the, with the getaway car doesn't come and he's standing there and suddenly he breaks into song, you know, they start dancing around. You know? The police come with their guns and the convicts come and they all do a big dance routine. I don't understand that. But I understand I understand it from the point of view that, that the, the art form, I'm serious now, comes from the folk theater of India. And there's a lot of communal dancing and this kind of celebration where everybody you know, I've been, sure. you know, I, I used, I, when I was in Jayapur, I'll tell you a funny story. When I was in Jayapur, we were coming out of a restaurant with my 13 year old son and there was a wedding across the street. And I said, oh, there's a wedding, let's go. He said, you can't do that. You don't know those people. You don't have an invitation. I said, trust me, this is India. <laughs> so we, so we went in and I said, hello everybody. And they went, the guest is gone. <laughs> God has come. The white, God, come in, please. Here, eat, 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 eat. And the women danced, and then they made my son dance with them. And it was, he said, what is that? And then later my friend told me that college students in uni, a lot of them go from wedding to wedding to wedding to get something to eat in India. But you could you could not go to a wedding like this in America. They called, they called, they called the police. 
you know, but in India, I was most welcome. You are most welcome, sir. Please come in. Oh, look at this beautiful boy. Please, please enjoy yourself. Eat something. Come on. You know, so this is uh, the beauty of India. Anyway, getting back to the Bollywood movies, it's difficult for me to understand them. Now, I used to think, I used to think that Indian actors weren't very good because they weren't capable of naturalistic acting. But I was wrong about that. The art form often calls for exaggerated acting mm -hmm. technique. But I have seen many times that they're absolutely capable or more than capable of any yeah. American actor of real naturalistic sort of Robert De Niro, subtle, small acting to be very convincing. I've seen so many of these people and that's coming more now. There's a police drama when yeah. I was in because India. Of the OTTs. Because of the OTT platforms that is coming more. The police drama, I guess you're talking about the sacred games. That you I, I, I'm seen. talking about, I, I can't, when I was in Vrindavan, whenever I looked at TV, there was a police drama on. You know, they had the uniform and I don't know what it is. It must be very popular. But in I was watching that carefully as an actor and I could see that the acting was just as good and that any idea I had about Indian actors was based on the style of acting, not their ability. True. You see? Hmm. True. And if at all, I have to ask you that if at all any movie that could make sense to you or that could you could relate to it. So is there any Bollywood movie which you are absolutely fan of? The, the, the only movie I can tell you that I absolutely saw many times over was if in the 1970s called Siddhartha, which was Siddhartha. from that, which is from that man, you know, the man I talked about with the white Amitabh beard? Bachchan, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Mr. He's Amitabh like the number one older star in the country, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. How, how old is he now? In his 70s? He, he's 70s. He is in his 70s. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. But he's but also, a real OG. He's a real OG. He's the OG for us. He's but, a but, he used to be uh, angry uh, young man. Also, he's a good guy too, right? He's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a great guy. You know, every Sunday in front of his house, there are still people getting together just to have one look at him, his demeanor. Let alone Darshan. his face. Darshan. Yeah, every, yeah, Darshan. Yeah. So every <laughs> Sunday, still there are people who are coming in front of his house and they're just standing and waiting that he might just come and wave at us. And he makes sure that every Sunday he is in town and he meets people and he just waves at them and people's lives are made. So there are few, very few superstars left in the country now because nowadays uh, there is internet, there is Instagram. So you know stars are very much personal to you. But these times like Shah Rukh Khan, we have Salman Khan, we have Amitabh Bachchan, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. So they have this huge uh, aura, this demeanor that people still, like you know in today's time, 2021, who has this time to go and stand in front of somebody's house? But they are still having that stardom, they are blessed, blessed child of God. So hmm. this is amazing stardom that th these people have. You must yeah. see that someday. <laughs> this is that, that yeah. is crazy, yeah. that is bonkers. Okay. Well, I was, I was surprised when I went there and I saw his face for the paint commercial. I saw his face for the bicycle commercial. I saw He's his face anywhere. for the Coca-Cola. <laughs> Everything was his face, you cannot forget his face. He is everywhere. Everybody wants a piece of him. He also does this uh, show, no? Uh, who uh, the millionaire show, which was the U.S. show? Who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? So in India, it is called Manaya Karodpati. So that is one of the longest-running shows, and it is most like highest-paid show. Like even if you want to do ad during those uh, timings, the prices are bonkers. So it is yeah. one of the most highest-paid shows. Yeah. Okay, Jeffrey, we are in the last segment of the show. I won't take much of your time. So this okay. is the segment which we call this or that. So you have to select either of them. Okay. I'm ready. So, yeah. <laughs> so if I have to ask you, Wang Dun Kyo. Uh, okay, let me just uh, pardon me for my pronunciation. Director of Squid Game. It is Wang Dong Hyuk or director of Peninsula, Yung Sang Hu. So this or that. Which one will you prefer? Yeah. That director of Peninsula? Yeah. Because he let, he let me do whatever I wanted. He didn't <laughs> care what I did. And it worked out great. But the director of Squid Game, I had to do exactly what they wanted. And it, I didn't have any artistic freedom. So. Hmm. And still in Squid Game, when you said that your eyes were closed and you were hardly able to see, you had a mask on. 
still you know, to make an impact after that as well that's a great deal so kudos to you i feel that you have done more than what he had asked for so i would definitely say that that's why we are sitting here right now so yeah okay this for that continue <laughs> i'm praising you come on okay so next would be lee jung jae a uh, squid game lead actor or gang dong wong peninsula's lead actor that okay <laughs> okay peninsula's lead actor the reason that He was a nice guy. I'll tell you something. I thought he I didn't know who he was. I thought he was an extra. And I almost I almost started to give him some acting tips. And then I realized that guy, he's the star. And another thing happened. I noticed that the apartments in Seoul were many millions of US dollars each. So I said to him, I wanted to find out how big a star he was. So I said to him when we were not shooting, I said, "You know the apartments here are several million dollars." He said, "Yes." I said, "Do you have one?" He said, "I have several." Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next one. India or America? This. <laughs> This kheer peda halwa I, India. I am listen man, I'm I'm a white Indian. I I am an Indian. I'm a Vrijabasi. I'm a I'm one of the people of vrindavan so oh. also last one you, you know you know when i die i have all the, first of all i want to die in vrindavan that is my hope i can die there uh, and put my ashes in the yamuna river um but if not so then i have made arrangements and put money in the bank that my body shall be taken to india and burned right there by the uh, by the yamuna river i want oh, to finish my, my life up in vrindavan My heart is in Vrindavan. My my heart is in Mother India. Mm. It's my misfortune, my misfortune that I was born in the United States of America, which is a grossly materialistic uh warring nation uh of uh, and and not in the beautiful Mother India. So I my adopted homeland is India. So it's this India. Continue. You have just, you know, melted heart You have melted hard right now. <laughs> uh, last one, Bollywood or Korean cinema or Hollywood? Yeah, uh, this Bollywood. Bo- Bollywood. Yeah. Now casting directors out there, you guys have to do something. Get your you wallet out. Do- you guys get your wallet out. Get the checkbook out. <laughs> If you need a really bad dude to play the evil white devil who comes to to. take the virtue away from the women steal the the riches of india and take spirit back to the west to plant a nuclear weapon or steal some weapons grade plutonium in order to blow up india i am the guy to call yes <laughs> thank you so much jeffrey it has been an absolute pleasure to talk to you thank you so much all right brother okay well take care i thank really you. enjoyed it take care bye bye thank you so much thank you take care namaskar This is Hollywood actor Jeffrey Giuliano, better known as VIP4 in Squid Game. You know, although I'm American, I have to be honest and tell you that The Bollywood Watchman is pretty much my favorite show happening because it tells me all about the ins and outs of the film industry in India, the industry that the whole world is watching. So, be like me, VIP number 4 from Squid Game and watch The Bollywood Watchman or I'll come looking for you.